Keep watching Charis TV. Because for them to leave you, it needs the one who call you. Even when people leave you, don't pray for them to come back to you. No, you don't need that prayer. You don't need people to fulfill God's purpose. If you are searching for God himself, he will bring his people. Look here. I'm here in Winnie Mandela, not in town. In Winnie Mandela. Here. But if I can tell you what God has done, I can shock you. Because whether you are in town or in the bush, God does not look where you are. You look at his purpose about your life. So, one of our best challenge today is we want to relate. We want to relate. We build up relationships with people we don't know where they come from. And this has really affected us because a person is not a flesh, is the spirit. And you don't know what kind of spirit is this person carry. Too much confusion today because of what? Of our relations to people. That is why me to say, that pastor is my friend. He has to be my brother. Not my friend. Let him be my brother in the Lord, not my friend. Because, you see, friends can separate. Even if a brother fights you, but he's still what? Your brother. So our challenge today is We don't know. There are some people that must leave you so that you see God in a different way. If not, there are some revelations that will escape you. <laughs> if not, you'll be surprised. You say you know God. You don't know him. Do you know a man that he heard a voice? When he looked back, he saw a seven lamb stand. He had the revelation of God. When you look back, say, you remember the one who ran away? Eh? The one who ran away? Elijah. When God came there, when he saw earthquake, he said, ah, God is here now. But think about Moses. That God said, me and Moses, ah, oh, we don't talk about visions. We talk face by face. Moses is not like a prophet. I mean, there's something more than a prophet here. So there are more revelations that if you don't grow up to understand people around you, devil can use them to cage you where you are. Some of you are very much satisfied where you are, and you don't know you are under a cage. It's only when you come, when we pray for you, we find you have got a demon. All along, you were just saying, me, you were speaking in tongues. So you begin to question, what about the tongues I was speaking? No, you were caged. You didn't check, you didn't go beyond. I was telling some people, I said, I wish people understand what is a church. The moment you hold Mike here and say a pastor will be celebrating you. Because from there, there's nothing to celebrate. If you understand God's purpose from today, when this car car, when this house car, when this what what car, understand, they might be coming with attachments. Because what is important for you is not things, it's Him. It's not what? Things is what him. So today, how do we know you? You are driving a city's bed. What are you? Audi. What are you driving? What are you driving? 
Lamborghini, Galagada, Kulogodo, Kulugudu, Gilado. I mean, all these things Satan can give you so that you rob other more. Why always your spiritual father must be a someone on TV? Because you cannot see beyond. Because the person you saw on TV, <laughs> because you saw the person on TV now, but you cannot see beyond that TV. That is why today, when you want to succeed, you have to join someone who succeeded. But why now your spiritual father now? You don't even know your purpose. And now this God seems to be like, is of this pattern. You put God in a box. And that is why you find God is quiet today. If we can ask many of you here, we say, what is he saying to you? Quiet, nothing. When you sleep now, you have to dream someone chasing you. And you just say, ah! It's like I'm seeing you when you are running. Someone chasing you, ah! And then when you are running, you find that your speed is not so fast. And the person is coming with a, like this, and his eyes are very big like of cow. And he's doing like this. And you say, ah! but you are, you are in one place. Until when the person say, he said, hey! no revelation, nothing. There's nothing revelation. Because we don't know who are we, or who we are today. Because of that, we are lost. Because of that, we have got many questions. Because of that, we are in a church. Why are we in the church? We don't even understand. Some of you, you could not even come here. Some of you, you were a soccer player. But when you come to church, you hear that there are prophets getting money, you change. Now you're, you want to be a prophet now. But you were a soccer, you could make money a lot in soccer. Now you are lifting your hand on Facebook like this. Say, touch, touch. Because you don't know. You're a soccer player. You, you were playing soccer and you are playing, praying to get a team. But when you don't get a team now, you are, you, you are doing like this. A hand of a soccer player. Like this. You are like, now you are like a referee now. But you're a soccer player. The moment you come to church, you find someone's doing business tenders. You never heard about tenders. Even yourself now, go give me tenders. Go give me tenders. And you were not even entitled to do that. Now we have to pray for you for tenders. And you don't understand what is tender. You don't even understand. Our church today is mixed up things. Mixed up. We don't, we don't even know what is happening today. We don't even understand now when you are sitting here now. Tomorrow you are here. Tomorrow you are prayed for there. Tomorrow you are being prayed for there. Because you don't know yourself now. If you reach a person, a person says you've got a demon, you say, I'm me. I'm not going to that church. But if you come to a church and say, you're a president, he says, yeah, this is a good church. Because you don't know yourself. You want someone to tell you what you wish. Things that will please your ears. It's what the Bible says. That you will take pastors to yourself that will tell you things that makes your ear itchy. It's what is happening now. If someone come and tell you that there's a problem there, you say, why? Me, why is telling me? Is embarrassing me. Now, when someone come and say, you, you're... You're about to be a billionaire. But you know you don't have a sign. You don't even have an account. You say, hey, man. But when you move from here, after your amen, we pastors, we are very intelligent. Don't undermine us pastors. We are intelligent. We are created. 
to guide you away. But when we want your money, we can still mislead you. So now you people here, pray for us so that we must not mislead you. Don't be in the church. Don't be in the church because you want something. There is nothing in the church, nothing here, nothing except Jesus. The Bible says, seek the kingdom. Seek what? Of who? Of God. Is when you go by Jesus. Jesus is the way to God. If you do that, all, all, all that you are searching for will follow you. They are not here. I'm sure I'm changing your mind today. Am I changing your mind? There is nothing in the church except you and God. When you come to God in the church, you are coming to do what? To worship Him. You are coming here so that He, he deal with you by the word. When you move from here, the word that you have received must work in you. Amen. And all must follow you in Jesus' name. Ask your neighbor for the last time. I don't know how I can tell you this, but this is a message today. Ask your neighbor, are you sure? You know who you are. Say, answer me. That's why today you look like someone. Do you know that you look like someone? You know, one man of God was taken to graveyard and he was told that, can you see these people? They didn't live on earth. That man said, how are you saying that? Because these are the graves, he said. They never live here, these people. All these people you are seeing here, they were living a life of someone. So, I've got nothing to do with them. This Today, you look like someone. Today. When you see people putting trousers here, here, you want to do the same. Even yourself, you do it. <laughs> you leave. Whatever you are doing, you copy someone. The moment when you reach adults, Adolescent stage, you lift your hair like this. <laughs> like, 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 like you are in a grave. Right now, if we can f check you, we'll find that the style you have of the hair is of someone. Everything about you, even the gold you put here. You saw it from someone. Everything about you, even the way you pray. Sometimes when you reach to church, you find people pray the same way. Ravashakata, Ravasinda, Ravasinda, Ravasinda. Another one say Ravasinda, Ravasinda. Another one say, Ah, I'm tired of Rasinda, Ravasanda, Ravasanda. And they will end up insulting. So I say, see so soon. Know who you are today. Your problem is not like of this one. Your problem is not like this one. Your problem, just we are different today. You need to come back to God. He will show you your way. Are you ready for that? Clap yes. for yourself. Like I told you, me, Makaranisa, after 10 years, you will see me talking like this. After 20 years, the same way. Even after you die, when they bring you back, you see me talking like this. It's only if you are going to hell, you will never see me again. Because the issue is, if now you will be changed by certain things, Look what is happening to you when money comes. Look how you walk. Your purse here is tight here. But the day is empty. 
Because you are controlled by things. Can you be yourself? Tell, can you be yourself? One of the problems today that I want to address is let's stop calling people they are called. We are lying to them. Let's stop calling people they are called. We are lying to them. Everybody is called. Everybody. The Bible says all are what? Called. We are all called. We are all what? Called. Let's stop calling people they are, they are called. Because everybody's called, even you, you are called for something. You might not be called to preach, but maybe you are called to clean the church. Or you are called to see, isn't it? Let's stop calling people. The moment you hear someone say, you are called, you must run away. That person is lying to you. He must lie to you, that person. And that is why many of you now, you don't know what you are doing now. So I'm just saying this, I'm stopping there. And I believe God is about to lift you. Amen. Amen. God bless you.